Bonjour les enfants, c'est Lulu Lapin. Je m'appelle Lulu Lapin. Mais où est Madame Bio? Where is Madame Bio today? Well, she's asked me to step in for her um, as your French teacher. Um, and so I hope we're going to have lots of fun today. Now, I hear that you've been learning um, the French story La Chenille qui fait des trous, the very hungry caterpillar. Literally in French, the caterpillar who makes some holes. He makes holes in everything that he eats. Now, last week and the week before, you have been reading the story. And what I'd like to do today is share a story with you, which is on the same topic of food. And then I'm going to set you a really creative challenge, which is to do with making some art out of food. Now, we're going to start with our story. So the story is called Basile Goutte. Basile is having a snack. Now, let's see what Basile likes to eat. Basile. A faim. Il s'assoit à table. Basil is hungry. He sits down at the table. Il met sa, he puts on his, what do you think it might be? Sa self, yeah, he puts his bib on, just in case he makes a mess. Probably like some of you when you were little, or maybe if you've got baby brothers and sisters. Il mange un yaourt. Avec sa cuillère. Now I think you can probably guess that yaourt is a yogurt and une cuillère is a spoon. Now let's have a little look. What flavour yogurt do we think that might be? I think it is un yaourt ou cerise, a cherry flavoured yogurt. Mm, he's very greedy, il est très gourmand. Ensuite, il mange un, now this is a lovely word in French, un biscuit, a biscuit. Can you say that with me? Un biscuit. Basil a soif. Il boit du jus d'orange dans un verre. He's very thirsty. No wonder after all that food. So he drinks a nice glass of orange juice. Puis, il fait boire son lapin. A bit like me, Lulu Lapin. He gives his rabbit something to drink. And then, oh, cheeky bear, Basile mange un bonbon. What a nice treat to eat some sweets. Miam, c'était bon. Oh, yum, that was good. What a lovely story. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, I'm going to send you um, a picture of the next screen. But in the meantime, let me share my screen with you and just show you. Here we are what I want you to do. So I hope you can see in this picture, look, there he is at the top, la chenille, the caterpillar. What I'd like you to do with the food items that you've got around the house, maybe some fruit and vegetables, is to have a little go at making your own food art picture. Now, if you, let's just zoom in if we can. If you can, I'd like you to, for example, make a ladybird in coccinelle or you might want to make a caterpillar and une chenille it could be that you want to make a unicorn look at that a licorn or let's have a little bit let's have a look a little bit further down we have got a crab and crab we've got un oiseau an escargot so lots and lots of different ideas and i think this is possibly my favorite one at the bottom, I don't know how easily you can see that. It is a little bear, let me see if I can zoom in a bit more, a little bear made out of rice, how cute is that? We've got another caterpillar with some broccoli, the broccoli, what looks like different colored grapes and tomatoes, the tomat. And then this one I've done before as an activity, so if you want to be really creative, you might want to make a face, maybe even a face of yourself, made out of various different types of food. So I hope that will keep you entertained for the rest of today's French lesson. And I cannot wait to see your artwork, so please do send me your photographs. Okay, so it's au revoir from me, Lulu Lapin. I hope you enjoyed our story, and I hope that you have maybe picked up a few new words for food and drink items in today's lesson. Allez, au revoir les enfants, enjoy your artwork, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Allez, au revoir.